Oh, it's the Friday. Friday traffic cannot beat the Friday afternoon rush. This car is just so great. This thing just really just gets down the road. No issues. Just really firm, solid, fun. Got an exhaust note out of it. I mean, just wow. Manual's fun. So it's just really a great car. Ford did a great job on uh, redesigning the Ford Mustang, the S650 series, which my first and my first Ford Mustangs were the S550 series, the previous generation. So uh, I'm enjoying my new ride, the new Dark Horse. It's incredible. While from when I bought it last year, I really haven't had time to drive it, but also. When it's a cooler temperature, it's not the best conditions for these tires because they're uh, the race tires, the track tires. And here already, I already forgot about the adapter of cruise control, which I'm on right now, which is so cool because the car will automatically brake and speed up depending on the speed of the car ahead of me. So that's pretty cool. But I was going through the menu here right here and that's how I remembered it but it's pretty cool and how this shows um, look at that your air fuel ratio vacuum your temperature on your cylinder head I mean, look at that is that just so cool tire pressures average fuel economy and there's the driver assistance so pretty cool right can I change anything on that I don't think so I think that's about it that so anyways I like it and you can change out the layout of this screen depending on what performance package you're riding around the car as well you can change out the color theme all that stuff it's like right now I mean I could downshift if I wanted to but that would turn off the adaptive but right now it's pretty much fine and it has the spacing of hot close for a way but once you get down to a lot lower speed on but no choice to downshift which that's the negative on the manual adaptive is you have adaptive cruise control but not like the automatic where it automatically gears down to whatever gear for whatever speed for me you have to manually put your clutch in and change gears and then the uh, adaptive turns off but so far it's working fine all right, hey, do we get Chipotle for lunch today? Do I stop for a good sandwich? I mean, I like the tuna sandwich that they have. Let's see what's going on here. Sometimes going in is quick, sometimes doing the drive through. Hmm. So, how about the drive through idea? I think we'll do it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what better way to spend a day having lunch but pulling over to the Panera restaurant. And this is such a new shopping center that it hasn't been fully kind of filled out. So there's lots of free parking out here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hang out here. It's just a beautiful breeze and eat my lunch in my Ford Mustang Dark Horse as the traffic goes flying by. Wow, there is such the coolest guy in the world. Here's a guy, here's a guy. And you know, I just feel like I don't need to disclose all this information because he's so new. But here's a guy who just pulled up as I was taking pictures of my, uh, my Mustang and we just buddied up. We just buddied up, greatest conversation in the world. Oh my gosh, and I think he's gonna watch my channel. He loves my car, loves the color, and we just had the greatest conversation. What's so cool is he's another one of us where he truly sees what's going on, and he's a down-to-earth, realistic guy, and it's just, wow. Hey, man, just thanks so much for talking to you, man. Reach out to my channel, say hi, but that was so cool. And now he's got to get back to work. I'd probably get him in trouble with work. I offered him my Panera tuna fish sandwich, but he doesn't like tuna fish, just to help him set, because he's like, I'm already, I'm already like 15 minutes late. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I offered my sandwich to him, but he doesn't eat tuna, so to just to try to save him, go spend another 15 minutes getting a sandwich. All right, let me get back and have had lunch. Never had lunch. <laughs> this car right here, it's just 
<laughs> it doesn't end. He's probably like, that guy can talk. Yeah, I can talk. Yikes. All right, let's get out of here, boy. Tell you what, that bread was stale. I mean, that bread here at Panera, eh, not that great. <laughs> probably if we gave my sandwich away, he'd be like, man, it's not the greatest. But anyways, uh, Dark Horse back in action here. Now, does it go back? Look at that there. Not pretty cool. Does it go back to my sport mode? This is where it all gets kind of confusing. So you go to the pony here. Let's see what she's on. So custom mode. So I think it does it. So look at that. It uh it defaults back to the regular. Isn't that something? So you have to go in and set it. So I guess it defaults back. I don't know. Then here's the uh, let's get some real exhaust though. Let's find out what this little bad boy will do here, right? As we head her on home. And, uh, get her. Where's my... Okay, there it is. There it is. All right. Once again, anybody you watch my channel, it's pretty cool on how I can... I can... This car can take off without me touching the gas pedal. See, look at this. Look at that. See that? This is the perfect trainer car. This is the perfect trainer car for you to get off the line. Isn't that pretty cool? And the automatic brake releases as well. So what a great conversation. Hey man, once again, great conversation. It's so fun to meet people out in the general public that you don't even know. And you both kind of just really connect with each other. So much fun for me being out in the field. I'm out in the field all the time and I run into people and it's just so neat to run into somebody you have no idea who they are. But at the end of the day, you start talking the same language. I mean, it's just, uh, it just really is a lot of fun. And that's what I say. It's interesting. I meet so many nice people out in the field. And it's so sad that the uh, social media wants to make everybody think it's, it's something else. And the dark horse with the exhaust. And the attitude. And the ice man. Nice back road coming up here, but can't see what's going on because of that car right there. So, gotta crash your turn in. That guy's coming. I think we'll be all right. All right. The Rev Mansion. Gotta have the Rev Mansion. Alright. Get a little under the bridge. Fun for you. I'm taking it, buddy. Sorry. Sorry about that. Hey, here's the cannabis area. Need some cannabis. There's the dispensary. You want some pot? You can buy it. You got a medical card. I guess. I don't know. Get a lot of noise over there at that one window, aren't I? Gotta blow it, roll it up. comes a challenger man the challenge is like my morning conversation right oh it's always fun when you have a sporty car and you go back down the back roads and the twisties and just a really nice time of year even though it's not all the green is out but just the transitioning of us from the winter which we really didn't have one but this thing is so freaking glued to the road I mean it is so fun. But I got a guy in front of me, you know, so I want to kind of get my little thrill. It just doesn't work because then I'm on this guy's tail and he's not going to like me. When I get all that, as we head around back home, 
really wasn't planning on being on the field much today. I was really planning on being back at the shop, trying to get things in order for the uh, delivery. Oh, look at this here. So this guy can let me have some fun. Pay with me. Yeah, wasn't that so cool? Yeah, as another guy pulls in front of me. <laughs> This thing is just like glue on the road. I mean, I'm not lying. This thing is so confident. This is every bit of my GT500. <laughs> Only difference is it doesn't have the same power yet. But I mean, it just feels so confident. And it's just so attached and in tune with the, with the road. And once you drive a car, you kind of get her at higher speeds, you really kind of come to understand that. There's six gear, a little doggy, but you know what? I really haven't broken this car in, so I'm not trying to get too crazy. You know what I mean? Listen to that down, shifting man. Yeah. Fun, 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 fun. See, the other cars that I have, they just don't do that. Yeah, a little burp. So that's so much, that's so cool. So you go to the shifting points, she burps. <laughs> oh, what is about these cars? What is it about these ice engines that just give you so much fun? find a telephone pole this type of road you get out here one night and get a little crazy you know you find a damn telephone pole jumps in front of you do we know these stories Really good day for driving. Temperature is not too bad. It'll be a little warmer, get these tires a little stickier. As all the tree growers, sod growers, everybody that's out there uh, making money off of the plants, this is the area. I think the exhaust is just about right. I think I can only hope the exhaust kind of resonates back into the interior as I drive this car, but I think it's right. It's not too loud, it's not too quiet. It's just a really good note. But that Vapor GT, it's louder than this. That's why the kid loves it. It's all about the exhaust note, which I just can't see getting that fun. On the electric vehicles, it's just, it's just a totally different animal. Look at this here, purple. This is the purple house. Some, I, for me, I think this is probably the owners of that nursery back there. That'd be my guess. So I'm lucking out. No, uh, no rain because if the rains came in, I wouldn't want to push this thing too much. 
just because of these tires. Oh, well, I've got a car ahead of me, so and they're going back to Virginia because I see the Virginia tag. So, and there's another car ahead of him. So now the Friday afternoon shuffle. Oh, coming back to the train town, Point of Rocks, Maryland, where the steel manufacturer, that's something I didn't talk about, is the uh, Nippon Steel want to buy out U.S. Steel, and how um, it's getting a lot of resistance, but we'll have to meet other, another Steel Day conversation, right? Watch my channel, you see I brought my breakout back in December and I parked it down here in front of this train station real nice quaint train station doesn't have the customers like it used to because of all the remote working but uh man it's just so hard for me to believe that's just like yesterday or as you progress it's just like yesterday that's just hard to believe Come on. I mean it's just total reflection of what's happened in this country of the remote working People uh, don't drive to work like they used to. Where's that conversation of a cut down on the carbon dioxide, the COT, the carbon footprint? Where's that conversation? And so many years ago, gas station was here. That was a liquor store. The good old days. So here it is. I've got this thing on hold. Hold assist, like right now. Do that. I'm on a hill. I mean, I'm on a hill. And what's so cool is this will hold the car until I take off. When I put it in gear and have the uh, clutch assist. Really cool. Coming back over the bridge. Coming back to Virginia. Welcome to Virginia, just don't hit me, all right? A little noisy, isn't it? That wind gets you, doesn't it? Oh no, I can't have the music playing. Getting close to home to call it a wrap for the day. What do I call this video today, right? The F-250 Dark Horse Day, the Dark Horse Day, what do I say, right? How long will it be, right? All right, we're on the home stretch to taking her back to the home. The Dark Horse has had her day. And Iceman as well. And just a really fun, fun car. Man, I tell you what, these back roads, it's incredible. What's happened to my own backyard with how many people cut through because of all the growth? Yes, that's a fact. find the farmhouse that's what I call it the farmhouse somebody's coming down the street here gotta be careful don't crash into the trees and there's a kid back it's not back the projects again yeah, the fun part it's always crawling out of these cars well, anything about a Corvette? <laughs> I know, I'm already like, why am I buying a Corvette? I'll have to crawl on that thing. If anybody understands that, I mean, you get older in life. Oh my gosh, well, this thing's off. So it's nice, but it's not like 
really radically loud. So, uh, what's the mailman got for me today? What what nasty letter? What who's looking for me today, right? Who doesn't know that feeling? You go to the mailbox. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see that. Interesting. You can hear all the rocks sticking to these tires because it's they're uh they're so sticky. All right, I know. Put your seatbelt on. Where am I gonna park this thing? I'm gonna put it in the garage. I really want to give it a, give it a bath. Yeah. Okay, there she is. Well, if anything, hope you enjoyed the ride along today in the new Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Hope you got a little better idea of what it does and what it is. And the Ford F450, just a lot of fun. Got a lot of choices of cars to drive. When I drive them, just like kind of share my own experience with you, and maybe you can kind of relate with it, being you feel like you're right there with me. I hit something on the road, and I just feel like the right front tire doesn't have a flat tire. I just feel like those things are so flat, surfaced. And, you know, if you get a flat tire in these things, usually they won't repair them. You got to buy a whole new tire. <laughs> Did I have the tire and wheel package in this? I can't remember. If I had any brains, I would have. All right, everybody, that's it. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Appreciate all the good uh, comments, support. Share the channel. Help grow the channel. And I've got more content coming to you this weekend, so stay tuned. God bless and have a great day.